Hey everyone, today is Tuesday, July 20th. The time's 1.55 p.m. and the temperature right now is around 29 degrees Celsius. And I am here in Port Credit, which is located in the city of Mississauga, which is just to the west of Toronto. And this is the Credit Village Marina. That's a look north up the Credit River. And for this one, I'll be taking a walk around Port Credit. restaurant here on the right is Snug Harbor and that's been a picture of this neighborhood for quite a while. He's like a 15 minute bike ride to work on. So what I think I'll do is head over to the lighthouse and we'll take a close-up look at that. And I'll head east along Lakeshore, and then I'll, I'll make my way south along the waterfront. And that should loop me right around to where I am now. I parked just to the south of here, and I recorded that drive from Midtown Toronto over here to Port Credit. So I don't know which video I'll upload to the channel first, but if you're interested in that, you can keep your eye out for it. So the city of Mississauga, where I am now, is the sixth largest in the country of Canada. The population is a little over 650,000 people. Oh, there's a sea dew just moored to the dock there. This is, in my opinion, the nicest part of Mississauga. There's a little pedestrian walkway here that crosses over the river. the lighthouse straight ahead. And that is a functioning lighthouse. It was built in 1991 and it replaced an original lighthouse located in that area that burnt down in the 1930s. That walkway will Give you a nice look out at Lake Ontario.
But at times, this lighthouse is open to the public. Although I think it's been closed during the pandemic. There's the Credit River. A number of Olympic rowers have trained on that river, including Silken Lauman. She's won bronze and silver medals in the Olympics. And that restaurant across the street, Captain Robbins, used to be a breakfast diner. And at one point, the Starbucks next to it used to be a coffee shop called Donut Man. That's going back to at least the mid to early 90s. There's a look at the recreated lighthouse. Sunset Grill breakfast restaurant has been there forever. I think they are the original occupant of that building. And there is no convenient crossing here, so I guess I'll just stay on this side. Although it looks like there's some kind of event off in that direction. Yeah, I don't really have a clear shot to cross. So now I'll head east along Lakeshore through the main retail stretch of Port Credit. There's the pedestrian walkway I just crossed. number of boats on the river there and off in the distance is Port Credit Arena that was built in the 50s Credit Memorial Park. And the Port Credit Library. And that's where I used to go. After I'm done recording this, I'll be hopping in the car and heading west to the city of Burlington. I'll be meeting some family who I haven't seen in a long time. And this building is new. I think there's a much older original CIBC building right next to it. Oh, it's actually an old post office. And there's the Pump House Grill. That place has been there forever. Maybe I'll cross over to the north side of Lakeshore here. 
<laughs> that guy saw that I was recording. Ah, oh, did I not press the button? The lady over there crossed. I hate it when intersections are configured like that. This one's busy enough that you think it would just be flagged for pedestrian crossings every time. We've got this neat fish pattern marking the crossing here. Oh, there's a Burrito Boys burrito shop just north of there. There goes the old Mississauga 23 transit bus. I remember taking that on a few occasions. There used to be a bar here called the Harp. It looks like it's no longer, or maybe, I was gonna say maybe this was it up here, but it seems to be gone. It's quite nice how they've done these patios. Shore, Grill, and Grotto. Didn't that used to be a crooked queue? been a lot of changes here. So here's Elizabeth Street. You could turn north here and head up to the Port Credit GO station and that would be the swiftest way to get to downtown Toronto if you don't have a car. Where this cafe is here, used to be a second cup. This is kind of sad. This used to be a no frills grocery store, but it closed several years ago and it looks like nothing has moved in. So I think the only real place to get groceries in this immediate area is that Rabo, which is quite expensive. So that's definitely not good. For those who are without a car and live in the area, which is quite expensive to live in, and where that raw aura organic cuisine is used to be a coffee shop called Higher Grounds. And that place was a staple of this neighborhood. I wonder what happened to it. There is a Loblaws. It's where I used to work <laughs> back in high school, just to the west of Mississauga Road. Rock and Docks has been here forever. And there's several grocery stores to the east of here. But again, nothing really within a reasonable walking distance. Filthy Phillies, cheese steaks and poutinery. This development on the right is all relatively new. Man, 
and they have a Burgers Priest. I love PC. That would stand for port credit. Yeah, just to the north of here is that GO station, which will soon be an LRT station. As right here is here, Ontario. They are building an LRT that will start at Port Credit GO and head north up the center of the city all the way to the city of Brampton. And that'll pass by Square One Mall on the way. And hey, the Brogue is still there. I remember going to that place way back when. There used to be a very long serving pub where this condo went in. I remember there was a bit of an uproar when that place got expropriated. And I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but way off to the north up here, Ontario, is one of the Marilyn Monroe Towers. On the right is the old St. Lawrence Starch Building. Ooh, my camera is getting hot while I was recording the driving video. The action camera I was using actually overheated and shut off. I turned it back on, but instead of 60 frames per second, I lowered it to 30. That seemed to be just the ticket. I remember when this building went in. I think this came in in the mid-90s. Pioneer has been completely rebuilt. And there's now a Timmy's there. So Port Credit, I believe, runs to the east of here for several more blocks. That is the direction I'm heading. That bus will take you to Long Branch in Toronto, and then it'll turn around. And from there, you can hop on the Queen Streetcar. I'm not going to go too much further than this, as I'll cut through the residential part to the south of here. And then we'll pass through some waterfront parks. That says Prime Retail. I think that used to be a nursery. So I think the waterfront trail, or at least the part that's connected to the lake, starts at the south of the street. And there used to be a cycling shop in here called Ramsey's. I wonder if they're still there. It was just around the corner on the right. It is now a thrift store.
so the retail carries on like this throughout for credit till you get to Cawthra. But it's a rather hot day and I do need to turn around. So there you go, that was the main retail section of Port Credit. Now we're going to head south. What street is this? Oakwood Avenue South. Maybe I'll spot a for sale sign and can look up the price of the house. There's a really nice house. Oh, someone's got a slack lining set up here. That is Lake Ontario straight to the south here. Although I don't think there's any park or anything there. It just kind of ends at that vista. Sure, these homes are rather expensive, probably well north of a million. There you can see no exit. So I think this street here forms part of the waterfront trail. So if you're riding your bike from Toronto and you're trying to stick to the waterfront trail, you'll end up along this stretch here. It's a really cute little house. I was thinking of recording a video through Clarkson, which is just to the west of here along Lakeshore. That's an area I'm rather familiar with, or at least I was. But given that's 30 degrees, I think the air conditioning in my car and the lure of getting an iced coffee or something to that effect is going to win over. I was also thinking of putting my e-scooter in the trunk and recording an e-scooter ride. But laziness won out. At least I'm getting a few videos out of it. And I will be live streaming my drive back. At least I hope to do that. So that was Juanita Road. And this is Elmwood Avenue South. And here comes Tall Oaks Park. Looks like there's a sea dew out on the lake. I'll take a quick peek out at the waterfront and then I'll 
head west back towards where I started this. Kind of a hazy day. I don't know if this will be far enough out to get a view of the Toronto skyline. I don't think we'll have an angle on it from here. There's the Elmwood Avenue pumping station. And this is St. Lawrence Park ahead. I've got my keys nestled in my pocket in such a way that they don't jingle around while I'm recording. It's kind of a big mess of keys I can't really separate. I think there might be rain on its way. I heard some thunder shortly after I parked the car. There goes the sea dew. A chance I'll get sprayed here. It sure is quiet. I guess it is a weekday afternoon, and it's quite gross out. So Lakeshore, which I walked along, is parallel to this trail, just to the north of here. I've got a choice. Walk along the path here, or along the lake.
Let's hop up here. It looks like this is part of that St. Lawrence starch development. 55port.com. There's a little beach area just up ahead. If I was feeling more adventurous, I'd go down there. There's a person sitting there and a thousand seagulls and geese staking a claim and a guy just sitting there wondering why I'm talking to myself. <laughs> that was weird. I spun around. Yeah, there's a guy sitting there just looking at me. That happens from time to time when you do these videos. Pedestrian ramp closed. Man, this camera is toasty. Here's Port Street. So I guess that's where that condo takes its name. It looks like we have a slow street. We had those in Toronto last year. They're called quiet streets. They did not bring them back this year. Hey, I remember that bet. That's where we used to take our dog. And this would be the back of the old grocery store. Just to the north of here. There's the old Ports Hotel. I don't know if that's still a hotel or not. But what I do know is there is a cafe in that white building there. I'm about to hit the road. And I could very much use an ice cold coffee right now. I think maybe these police have the same idea. They're not heading to the cafe. Let me. I don't know if I'll film inside. There might be music playing. Maybe they'll tell me to turn off the camera, but I'm going to go ahead and get a coffee and I'll be back. Arched top. Coffee and bar.
Hi, can I get a medium iced latte? Pizza? Thank you. Have a great day. You too. All right. Let me take this mask off. There's a view of the latte. I just went for the easiest thing I could think of. He's wearing like a coat. Is he nuts? <laughs> it's 30 degrees out. This computer shop has been here forever. Okay, I got my hands full. I just want to make sure I have everything. A little habit of mine. Rental keys, yes. Wallet. And my other keys. We're all good. I'm gonna head back to the car. There might not be too much more to see in this walk, so. Well, thank you for watching as I strolled around Port Credit. Well, there's a bar in there, the social. Pub and eatery. Credit Social House. There's a lot of boats being stored in that facility in the wintertime. That's the Credit Harbor Marina. And this straight ahead is where I parked. It's also where I started recording this video. Let me know if you want to see more of these greater Toronto area, but not Toronto itself videos. Recorded around the Vaughan City Centre earlier this year. And I've been up to Niagara Falls a bunch of times, and of course Montreal, but outside of Toronto, I haven't recorded a whole lot. So maybe we can make that change. I'm still hoping to get to New York this year.
And here we go, back to State Bank. So I parked just north of here in that parking lot, but I'll take the nicer route. Since I have a coffee in hand, I'll just let this car go by. So do I cut straight through here, or do I take the nice way? A way we've already seen. Oh well. There's some paddlers. I doubt they'll get out to Lake Ontario. And thanks to everyone for subscribing. This channel recently hit 53,000 subscribers and it just crossed over 10 million views. So thank you very much for your support. If you do wish to support the channel financially, there are links to Patreon and YouTube channel membership in the description. There's also a link to PayPal. And I have an Instagram account, and I'm kind of thinking maybe I'll just go snap a pic for Instagram since I'm here. That might be a good idea. There's the car. I've got the mount set up. I think I'm going to record my ride to Burlington. So channel members will be able to see that one. And if you're not a channel member, you can see that in 30 days on my other channel, Johnny Stumbles. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching and I will catch you on the next one.